Espere, ¿se hará justicia? Thank you for joining me again today, guys. Some big news coming out of Honduras. The ex-president, Hernandez, has been detained. All right, let's get into this. This is coming from Reuters. Police detain ex-Honduras President Hernandez as United States seeks extradition. Currently out of Tegucigalpa, Honduran police detain ex-President Juan Orlando Hernandez on Tuesday, escorting him from his home in handcuffs and chains following a U.S. extradition request on drug charges that marked a dramatic fall from grace only weeks after Hernandez left power. In live footage shown on national TV, police officials gave Hernandez a bulletproof vest and placed a chain between his handcuffed wrists and ankles before taking him to a nearby base for police special forces in Tegucigalpa, the capital. And man, I could say this is a huge shock for Juan Orlando Hernandez. I was recently in Honduras and he was the president while I was there. Everything to me seemed calm in the summer of 2021, but behind the scenes, they're alleging that he is involved with drugs, and, and I'm sure some people are probably truly happy to see him arrested at this time. I'm not sure the backgrounds of it, I'm not really a political person, but there's been a lot of allegations that he was running pretty much drugs in this country while he was president of Honduras. So this is a big shocker for people who rarely see ex-presidents come to justice. Sometimes they get immunity for certain cases where they'll never see the inside of a court ever. But this time the current administration of Honduras is making sure that Juan Orlando Hernandez faces his day in court for those alleged crimes. It is said that the right-wing former leader's detention came after a Honduran judge on Tuesday ordered his arrest following the U.S. extradition request on drug trafficking and weapons charges. A U.S. document seen by Reuters on Tuesday showed that U.S. authorities charged that Hernandez participated in a drug trafficking scheme between 2004 and 2022. And wow, that is a long time. The document alleges that Hernandez was part of an operation to receive tons of cocaine from Colombia and Venezuela, which were shipped onwards to the United States. It is alleged that Hernandez received millions of dollars in bribes in exchange for protecting traffickers from investigation and persecution, the document said. The firearm charges included carrying, using, or aiding and abetting the use of weapons, including machine guns. And as I stated recently on my last video about Honduras, Hernandez, who was 53 years old, was replaced as president last month by leftist Xiomara Castro. He has pledged to cooperate with national police and he has denied any wrongdoing. Hernandez was set to spend the night in a police station and appear before a court on Wednesday morning. Washington's request for extradition was in stark contrast to a period when the U.S. government saw Hernandez as a vital ally in volatile Central America during his eight years in power. And I'm telling you from what I've heard about Honduras in times that those eight years weren't very easy and I saw it for myself being in a country that people truly were waiting for change. I'm not sure what the future holds, but from what I hear, these allegations were strong, and I'm sure that many people are super happy that he will have to answer to all of the allegations that were put upon him. And also here, Ramon Sabillon, Honduras' security minister, said that Hernandez's capture was a historic feat although the former president came out of the house and he surrendered. Sabillon stated that the government has shown that it has the determination to comply with the law. Earlier on Tuesday, the minister said that Castro had ordered him to comply with the law and to keep her informed. And we can go ahead and look at some pictures right here. Earlier, it shows that Honduras police officers surrounded the house of ex-president Juan Orlando Hernandez after U.S. requested his extradition. Wow, look at this. It was pretty much in the heat of the night. And this picture here is when he was the president at a conference in Scotland. And wow, they really came prepared just in case there was any problems. Wow, look at all the police officers surrounding this house. And this here are many police officers surrounding his house on the morning of February 15, 2022. And here the ex-president listens to a police officer after being detained by members of the Honduras 
National Police in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. So overall, Honduras's National Police said Hernandez was detained thanks to cooperation with U.S. agencies, especially the Drug Enforcement Administration. The U.S. State Department said its policy is not to comment on extradition requests. So in all, Honduras's Supreme Court, which will rule on the extradition request, met on Tuesday and appointed a judge to oversee the case. The process could last between two and three months, according to Hernandez's defense. And so a big point in contention was that Hernandez's brother was charged with drug trafficking just last year. And many people were wondering if Hernandez himself would also have to face the same crime. And so this ultimately resulted in the former president being named as an unindicted co-conspirator in another drug trafficking case in New York. Just the day before, Hernandez had been holed up in his home after about 100 police officers surrounded it late on Monday after Honduran authorities received the U.S. request for his extradition. So at first, Hernandez really wasn't trying to give himself up because just a few hours after leaving office on January 27, 2022, Hernandez joined the Central American Parliament, which is Parlacen, which is a six country regional body that affords its member immunity from prosecution. However, immunity bestowed by Parlacen, which comprises elected officials as well as former presidents and vice presidents, can be removed or suspended at the request of a member's home country. So as you can see for Hernandez, whatever he tried to do didn't work. So now he is currently detained for his alleged actions. So Hernandez's legal defense issued a statement earlier Tuesday saying there was no need to arrest a former leader. And so now they're stating, given Mr. Hernandez's stated will to voluntarily submit to the extradition process, there is no need to proceed with the issuance of an arrest warrant or preventative arrest warrant. Since his volunteered presence guarantees the normality of the procedure. So there are times ex-presidents do have to answer for their wrongdoings but it's usually 50 50. sometimes they get immunity or sometimes charges just never come their way but this time the new administration of honduras is making sure that whatever allegations that hernandez had against him he will have to answer for them in a court of law so i don't know what else to say guys i'm just reporting the news i thank everyone for essentially watching these videos i do like to give people updates on countries i've either been to or just simply interested in. So just keep tuning into my channel. Eventually I might travel again, but until then, just continue watching these news updates because definitely I know I'm helping someone out there get new information that they had no idea about. So all in all, I wanna thank you guys for hanging in there with me while I present you the news. So overall, thank you once again for watching all the way to the end. As you know, I always give just that special treat to those who actually have a little bit of patience. All right, guys, have a blessed day. That white peach building is the basilica that you'll see here in Parque Central. So, gotta watch out for the vagrants. Is gonna watch out for the vagrants? Wow. What's going on here? What, someone, was she just trying to throw a book bag at me? The heck was that? I'm trying to show the basilica and this lady was trying to throw a book bag at me. Either way, watch out for these people. I don't know what the heck's going on. This is public, baby. People, people shielding themselves for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's take a look. It seems like the people that are here live here. Or just, I don't know, everyone's kind of hiding their face. I don't know what's going on. What's going on here? Either way, Honduras, baby. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, subscribe to Jesus, not to me, because I'm just a vessel to remind you of that. Have a blessed day.